swarm of wasps. I've been stung by first ever sting. Not happy. Uh, and finally, some people have come to try and uh, fix the, the wasp infestation. Found a nest. Nest. Okay, let me give you a little uh, rundown on what's actually been happening so far today. I don't feel I've done a very good job of that so far. It was all a little bit crazy this morning. I got up. I went out there to start to pull the, the cover back on our jacuzzi and as that was happening I felt uh, something really um, sharp in my leg and then I looked around and I realised I was like literally swarmed by wasps flying all around me and that I had been stung by a wasp which initially shocked me a little because I've never actually been stung by a wasp so I didn't know if I was allergic or if I would have any kind of bad reaction. Um, and that sent me into a little bit of a, a crazy mode. Uh, initially, I kicked off a slipper and fought my way out of there by flailing it around and sort of screaming, very much like um, a girl. But I got inside and I, I, I closed the door and then Owen came to see what the commotion was and I explained to him. We told the hotel and after a long, long time of waiting, no one actually came up. So we went down and we spoke to them um, and then we, we had breakfast and we came back and still someone hadn't come to the room. I went to see the doctor that they have here just to give me the once over, just to check that I was doing all right with the sting. It seemed uh, my body coped quite well with the sting. It just stings really. Um, and then eventually people did come and they started spraying the wasps and they thought they'd killed them and I was trying to tell them no there is a nest. They were all sat on top of the decking in a big huddle and there was loads of them and they don't just sit there in a huddle for no reason. I was trying to say that there is uh, a nest around. It's probably under there. They, they scanned everywhere and eventually they did lift the decking and they did find the nest and then they sprayed all the wasps and they thought that they'd killed all the wasps and they were about to go and they didn't really speak English uh, and they were sort of championing them themselves saying yes yes well uh, you know we've done we've we've sorted this then i said well is anyone going to come and actually sweep up all the dead wasps and then i thought he understood what he said and he was like yes 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 and then he left we waited till half an hour ish and still no one had come and then i looked outside and all of the wasps that they had sprayed were dead they were very much alive and they were very angry and they didn't have a, a home to go to so then we had a lot of angry wasps eventually someone came to brush up the wasps and then they realised um, that there was just a lot of angry wasps out there and there weren't any dead ones. Um, so then they were trying to speak to us in Italian. I was trying to talk to them in English. Eventually they put me on the phone to the manager or someone on reception it was that does speak English from downstairs. And I was trying to say to him just like how unacceptable all of this was and we're just sort of trying to come to some resolution. Eventually, we went for a meeting with the manager downstairs. She was very apologetic. She said she's not gonna charge us for any of, of this because we weren't able to use any of this outside section because we're only here for a day and they need the day to get it all sorted and fumigated or whatever. Um, and then we did 
uh, agree on a nice little compensation of not only are they not going to charge us for all of that, which we didn't use, and they gave us a complimentary massage as well. So I've just had my massage, and Owen's having his massage now. But whilst having the massage, you know, take my shoes and socks off, take my top off. I went down with my swimming trunks on, thinking that that's suitable, but no. She then hands me a little packet. Ooh, here comes Owen now. Right. How was your massage? Best 30 minutes ever. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. I was just about to explain about these to the uh, to the camera. Did you get these? She took mine. She took them? Yeah. Oh, I kept mine on. No, I took mine off. I just put my, uh, put my trunks on and on off I went. There's still lots of wasps out right there. Uh, so yeah, these uh, are what was given to me. She turned around left me to put these on and then uh, got into the massage. It was a good massage though. So I'm going to leave now and I'm going to get changed and go and do some fun at It's about half two on what I think is a Monday and I was just going over to get a hat out of the car and the two of us, we've just had lunch which was um, just a margarita pizza at the hotel and was very much like like an Iceland frozen pizza jobby that you just plug in the microwave. Wasn't the best quality, but you know, filled the hole, so to speak. And we're going to go and play golf. Something uh, I am not a fan of at all. Uh, but Owen's been on at me for a long, long time to do golf at uh, you know, various points, and I've always said no. Um, but because other plans were scuppered, golf it is. I'm feeling relaxed, had a nice massage. Um, Feeling the heat, it's very hot. We're just gonna go and see what the golfing options are. Uh, I think there's at least a driving range which we can use, which is part of our package for staying in a hotel. Um, but as we know, things so far not necessarily all going to plan in terms of the hotel. So we'll just see. Mark and Becca are enjoying their time in Venice. I assume they're enjoying their time. We'll find out later. We're going to go meet them there for tea and I will catch up on their day and I'll get to fill them in on all of the shenanigans that have gone on with wasp gigs. Unsurprisingly, there's uh, empty tennis courts in this 33 degree heat. People not keen. We have our club. Um, we went in there and we were asking about driving range and the guy asked if we played golf back at home and Owen said no and his face was not a pretty picture. So, it's this way over. So, uh, I instantly stepped in and said, oh, I play golf. I mean, I've, I've played golf a few times in my life, um, but I'm hardly an expert. Uh, but it seemed to appease the man a little bit that at least one of us would know what we're doing. My biggest concern is it's not long enough. It's really hot. I could have played golf in my hot That's true. Yeah. It's him down playing it in Death Valley. Here we are in Italy. With our seven iron. And our buckets of balls we're about to get. Am I still the furthest? Oh, I 
it's your whiff there. It's over there. So in the 50 zone. Right over there. Shops on the way, weren't they? Oh, some orange. Pop a bottle. What did you think of the golf? Um, it turned out it wasn't the sport that I was going to master. <laughs> and the Wii's better. Yeah, it's a lot easier on the Wii. But we had some good ones, though. And I didn't have a left-handed golf club. That's true. Um, and the wind was against us. It was. And again, it was one of these shoddy. Uh, how much your things? Seven iron. It's kind of extra, they had a big fat club. I don't know anything about yeah, golf, but I know it wasn't seven iron because that's Driver. what we've got. And he was hitting it like three times as far as we were. And he was posing. Oh, look, there's archery over there. Yeah, there's, there's targets over there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Alright. I haven't known what I do otherwise. Oh, well. They'll show us now. We're doing some archery. Because I can't put it on the left hand and pull it on my right. I happened to see some, some archery targets and then we inquired and there was a guy there who was just letting us go for it. He doesn't speak any English though. So. Well, I love that scene around that. Owen thinks he's going to instantly be as good as Arrow. Just like he was an instant Nick Faldo. That's more of a tiger than Wolf. <laughs> Owen going for his ML arrow shooting. Okay. He's in the blue. I'm pleased because I hit a bullseye on my last one, having gone around it a bit beforehand. This is good. And the guy, just over there, just like giving us like zero training whatsoever, <laughs> just sort of put bows on our hand and uh, left us to it. We could literally just kill each other right now. <laughs> Loving the lack of health and safety. Ah, oh, it's good. Right. It's in the blue, uh, in the yellow. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's better in the feather. Told you, even enough. <laughs> Owen and I have now arrived in Venice. We're on our way to meet Mark and Becca for tea. Looks just like we remember it looking like. We're down by the ferry harbour at this point. Ferry port, whatever you call it. We're gonna make our way to the town now. Now the last time we came to Venice, it was later than this, and it was thunder and lightning and it wasn't the best weather. We've come earlier, and we've clearly come at some sort of peak time. It is chock a block with people right now. We are in tourist central as we enter Venice. queue for a church apparently. Understandable because it's very busy. Uh, just over this bridge is where we actually stopped for tea last time we were here. Which is a few years back now. And just as we sat down that time the heavens opened but I don't think there's any chance of that today. Don't want to curse us though. Uh, what else did we do, Marco? 
It's been a sort of, it's been a good day, but a very hot day and a very tiring day. I saw a doctor. About your, about your leg? There's a resident doctor. Oh I went over to the other hotel and there he was, checked out. Did he do anything? Uh, well, yeah, he, he wrote me a prescription in case it gets infected. Oh. So I can uh, go and get that prescription should I need to, but it's alright now. Pseudocrem's done the job, really. Yeah. No, it's like massive, it's massive key characters, massive key. And they really, they put you in there like sardines, it didn't look very nice. You could tell when we arrived that it was like busy here. Today. Yeah, it is really busy. Chuck it. Like there was some bit, like some narrow streets where literally like, like you didn't move for a few minutes because it, it, right. everyone was just shuffling past each other. And we got in the queue this morning initially to go into the, this church. And we were in the queue for about 20 minutes. Mark was in the queue. I'd gone off to see if I could get a fast track ticket. Mark was in the queue for about 20 minutes. I came back and we were pretty much in exactly the same spot. Mm -hmm. So we left, came back later, and the queue had died down a bit, so we were able to get in. And Venice didn't have my charm thing either. Oh, no. oh that is becoming a theme. I know. Is it, is it like going out of, uh, out of production? Well, wow. this is what I'm going to find out, because the guy said, oh, sold out. And I said, well, like, how long have you been sold out? And I didn't really understand. <laughs> but I don't know. I hope not, because I still need three more to like complete my chain. I know. I was counting on all the chains being present and correct in this holiday to like fill up my chain. You never complete the chain. <sighs> These are people walk this way. I'm trying to navigate our way around Venice. Not going so well at the moment. We're hoping this is not a dead end. It's not a dead end. Is good. I find actually that very few streets in Venice are dead ends. I've sort of discussed that over the course of the day. Like, I, I think we only went down one street in the whole day to the dead end. Was that that one? Was that the one we just went down? What? Well, it's a dead end. It's not a dead end, it's a bridge. Oh, the one we just went down. I'm saying, is that the one you went down that was a dead end? Oh, I see what you mean. It's not a <laughs> dead end in the sense of like, like leading to a canal with nothing on the other side. I mean like, like literally where you go down and it's like there's no path, no canal, no nothing. Okay. That's what I meant. They come from where is this list of, of food places anyway? I thought I thought you might want to eat some Italian food. And I thought, knowing you, <laughs> I'd get rid of the, the three and four euro signs and just stick with the one and two. And then I segregated it again by uh, how close it was to me because I'm fed up with walking. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie is a Mark special as well. I'm not the only, <laughs> yeah, I'm not the only cheapskate here. <laughs> I, do. I do like a cheap meal. <laughs> Narrow little walkway. So we're in Venice. What should we have come? We should have come. So what's the point about four o'clock? Tired. It's funny how heat just like kicks out of you. 
sense, like from what I was talking about, it's just everything's quite far away and yeah. not easy to get to because no, you've got to go around all the different street. yeah. streets. Yeah. And there is like public transport, but it doesn't seem to Yeah, I remember Florence. It's got a um, streets are kind of all uh, cobbled, aren't they? Yeah. 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 Very cobbled. Lots of water that day. They didn't put a lot of effort into it. They just cobbled it together. Welcome once again to Padua. This is where we came for tea last night. We've popped back uh, now a little earlier than we were yesterday, so it's not so dark. There's a lot more people milling around. Uh, basically, it was too hot in Venice. Uh, Owen was desperate to take some photos of this place because he's seen some nice shots he wants to take. And uh, we were hoping for some ice cream. I don't know if ice cream's going to happen or not, but we'll see. But yeah, a lot more people around today than there has been uh, yesterday. Interestingly, the restaurant is closed now. It must be a Monday thing over here. It's still pretty warm. I guess maybe it's about 28 degrees and it's just coming up to 9 o'clock. So we'll go in search of some good photo opportunities and hopefully some ice cream. like ice cream may have been found. I'm sorry, I should say gelato. That's how they speak around here. Is that ice cream? Hurrah! Is it reasonably priced? This is the do let the mosquito glass on you dance. <laughs> I already had to take a face of action once already. Look. <laughs> <laughs> You've mm. got enough money there, honey. Yeah, so I do actually. How much is that? I think that is exactly. That's two scoops, one thing. How much is that, Mark? Okay? Two and thirty. Grazie. Thank you. Two scoops, two thirty. Mm. That's good. or if she's a guest and just fancy to play. But she's good, either way. Die down to her. 